Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Scorpio. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into your astrological Celtic cross. So we're going to look at your sun sign first and see how you feel about yourself. And then we'll move on to your sun, your while your moon and your rising and all the other ones that I have here for you. So let's get into this. What's your sun, yourself, how you feel about yourself? Okay, so you feel you're very truthful. You may have great ideas. You may even feel like you get certain breakthroughs. You have mental clarity here and success. You're very studious. You like knowledge, I feel, with the Page of Pentacles. I feel like you're very diligent and grounded. You might be very goal-oriented. You grow your money independently, I feel. You're very ambitious with the earth here. So you may have air and earth in your chart here. You may be um, Scorpio. So Scorpio, this is, I feel like you're a water sign, so, but you may have a lot of um, other placements in your chart here. Let's see. What about your moon here? Your moon, because that goes like that with your sun. So what's your moon, your emotions, how, how your heart is, what your emotions are like? What are you emotional about here right now? Okay, so maybe you're having a few, um, I'm feeling like, almost um how do i put that like i want to say conflict conflicting opinion about something here you may have other people that have y'all has to do with love okay <laughs> so there might be somebody that doesn't see eye to eye with things like you do um that you want to see eye to eye with them but maybe they're not compromising or they're not being a team player of some sort when it comes to love okay so what's your rising what's your other how other people view you how do others view you your mercury not your mercury your rising sorry oh okay so let's see what the world with the world card this is Saturn this is about responsibilities and discipline so this this may be um, the right path maybe you're charming you're celebrating some type of success oh look at you you're the king of cups so you're emotionally balanced you're compassionate tolerant diplomatic sensitive understanding okay that's how people see you so how do you heal what's your chiron what's your chiron like okay so you equal give and take okay and then we have the ton of swords holy hell okay so, hmm, you may feel betrayed or defeated when it comes to equal give and take here or your generosity even, like you're being taken advantage of. But when you're trying to heal this, I feel like this is tough for you to do this. This might be um, something that's ongoing here. Yeah, because with the Six of Pentacles, this is somebody that's balanced. You give and receive. You're like, you want that equal give and take. And I feel like you're very prone to sharing or you have a lot of gratitude and kindness and knowledge that you're willing to give. And I feel like 
Maybe there's somebody in your energy that is kind of taking you for granted. Now it's hard for you to heal this when it's an ongoing thing. Let's look at your love, your Venus. What's your love, your Venus for you? Your Venus, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. With the Five of Swords, okay, so <laughs> this might be hostility, somebody wanting to win arguments at all costs, some type of conflict. And you may feel like you're getting empty victories or you're the, always the one retreating or trying to make up with this person. And I feel like you're waiting for something here. There's something big coming in for you though with the Ten of Pentacles. This is family wealth, a legacy, but I'm not so sure you're gonna find it here. Well, whoever this person is, they may be waiting for something you're ca you're supposed to be getting. I'm feeling like some type of abundance or inheritance or with the Ten of Pentacles, that could be um, this is usually family life, prosperity, a strong foundation. Emotional harmony, you know, that could be about property and getting that. Somebody's waiting for something here. Or they see you as a dreamer. Somebody might see you as a dreamer. You might be waiting for your Ten of Pentacles, your person, the one, but you're getting a lot of hostility with whoever you're with right now. And if you're not with anybody, um, this may have been somebody recent that maybe you broke up with. It may, it may have been months ago. But it's at the 10. With the 10 here, I feel like it went to 5. And then maybe, yeah, 3, 5, and 10. Hmm. Can I get one more card on the Venus, please? Hmm. Yeah, you're having a lot of anxiety about this. And that's never good um, for your health that way. Um, if somebody's got you in a constant anxiety type state. And that can really wear on you for your health. What's your Mars? Your, how you deal with life? How are you dealing with life here, Scorpio? Yeah, you're needing to put some boundaries up here. Oh, okay. Maybe when it comes to people that are toxic for you or that you really desire. Um, yeah, you seem satisfied at this point with this person. I feel it might be about desire. But this might be what they play on, okay, to keep you there. And if you are trying to put these boundaries up the first time that you break those boundaries, this other person isn't going to see it as a boundary anymore. And I feel like... <laughs> satisfied like but that this is supposed to be your wish fulfillment with the nine of cups I feel like this is just satisfaction content achievement but it's not this should be more about your wish fulfillment some type of success a sense of well-being but I'm not feeling that for you this might be just more about desire here. What's your self-love? What's your series here? Hmm. That five of cups is here. So I'm feeling like this person often has you in your feelings or making you feel bad about something here. Scorpio. 
Yeah, look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. This has to do... Maybe work with this person. This is, might be about resources. Could be about manifestations too. A blessing. I'm feeling a blessing here. Why is the Five of Cups here? Mmm. <laughs> Boom, baby, with the Tower. Hello. So it looks like something major, unexpected here is going to come into your life that is a blessing. So for your self love, this is going to help you get your self love. This is something that, or someone that's going to help you heal that self love here. You might end up getting somebody that is going to treat you right. And I don't, I don't say that lightly because. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just reading the cards. So this may not be for everyone as well. Just take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Okay, but there will be something unexpected that's going to happen here that you're going to see as a blessing. What's your luck, your Jupiter here? Okay, so you're gonna fight for something. You're gonna stand up for yourself when it comes to something here. And you're gonna feel, yeah, you might be seeing something here and needing to communicate some type of message or mental agility, useful information. There's something, something here that you're gonna you're in your luck here that's going to help you see something and stand up for yourself with something here. Yeah, because you 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 felt pretty out in the cold about something here with the five of pentacles. This is about this can also be about losing money here. Some type of hardship, a struggle, unemployment or abandonment issues. This might be something you've already gone through. You may have had to get a divorce or some type of payout here, maybe child support or, I mean, take it out resonates for you. But something changed in your luck here. But it's to get you out of something. What's your, sat what's your Saturn, your discipline and responsibilities for Scorpio here? What's your discipline? Okay. So you're usually the life of the party or you are maybe just drinking a lot because of what you're going through here. What is this? Oh, okay. So this has to do with family. This, this is about the four of wands. This is about, I want to say, happy home life. Okay, and maybe you're wanting to celebrate your happy home life, and that might not be what's happening here. I feel like love is in the air, though, so that could be about this. This could be spirit bringing something in here for you. What is okay? Let's look at that then. Oh, about planting these seeds for your for your, um, hmm. This is about planting new seeds for your uh, future here. What is it you're imagining for yourself? What's your Neptune? What are you imagining for yourself? This is kind of looking at what you want for you, right? What are you imagining for your, wow, ton of cups. So you're really wanting that happiness in the family life, the dog, the cat, the kid, the wife, the husband, however it resonates for you. Wow. So you're imagining a very happy home life here, celebrating and 
planting some new seeds here. Wow, that's beautiful. What's your what's your uniqueness? What's your Uranus here? Okay, so you're really good hard worker or you're really good at what you do for work. It might just be that you're very uh, crafty or, wow. And if I'm turning cards over or up, if they're to the upright, uh, it's because I'm only reading uprights with these Celtic Cross. Okay, so we have the High Priestess. So you're very intuitive. I feel like you may even do this for work. This might make you quite unique. Maybe you're very spiritual. And with the High Priestess, this is moon. Um, this is your heart energy. This is what you feel in your heart, right? And this was about love before. So, high priestess here. You might have, you might be quite mysterious. <laughs> you might be enlightened. You might already be awoke. I feel like you may even have foresight. You might be able to see, might have some of the clairs here. Might have sacral knowledge or able to speak to spirit here. This might be what you do for work. What's your palace, your relationships like? Okay. <laughs> there might be somebody from your past you're thinking about here that you want to give another offer to or this is somebody I feel like <laughs> okay um, the knight of pentacles this is slow and steady wins the race so this is about <laughs> moving very slowly almost going backwards <laughs> but it's being very productive um, they're very reliable and practical. So you are either wanting to move towards this person, but there are things you are closing out here in order to plant these new seeds here. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so what's the fortune and your wealth like? What's that coming in for you? What's your fortune and your wealth? Okay. So somebody may be guarded, may, this may even be you, and you may have lots of options to choose from here. Or you might be conf confused on which way to go right now in your direction. But the Queen of Swords, she's quite intellectual, like she's very um, smart, okay? Powerful, very independent and strong. And you may uh, have a lot of independence here, but this is also about being determined. So I feel like you might have a lot of wealth coming in with the seven of cups here. You might have many opportunities to make some fortune here. Let's look at your Juno, your influence here for Scorpio. What's influencing you? Oh, okay. Might be a follow father figure, or this could be you, this king of pentacles. You might have wealth already, very smart, abundant, powerful, ambitious. You're a provider. So this might be somebody you know, maybe you look up to them, um, or it could be a brother, a sibling, or... Just because they're coming up as the masculine doesn't mean it's masculine. This could be a feminine showing up in their masculine side, especially if they're independently wealthy on their own or have wealth with a partner. I mean, this could be your parents too, right? One of your parents. What else is influencing you here? Hmm. Conference. Okay, so you're pretty cool, calm, and collective. Uh, when it comes to um, hostile situations and stuff, you're very patient. I feel like you're very um, able to keep that calm, <laughs> which is very important um, 
people kind of get you riled up, which can piss them off even more. <laughs> you have that harmony and peace and groundedness. You might even be in that life purpose right now. But you usually have a lot of adventure. This is Sagittarius energy. So to be grounded in that peace and harmony, you have a great um, balance to yourself. And I feel like this might be that whoever's trying to influence you, you might, they might be trying to influence you away from being in your, your sole purpose, or they might be influencing you to go towards your purpose. Take it how it resonates. We'll see what happens here in the next. What's your potential with your Vesta? Okay. So, okay, yeah. So this person might be talking you out of trying to go towards your purpose here, okay? Because the Four of Cups is missing an opportunity, or it can be. And I'm feeling like with the Four of Cups, this could be something that is maybe they lack interest in. It could be about feeling in competition with you. Maybe you don't realize they're competing with you. <laughs> um, this is kind of like dissatisfied with maybe what you're cho choosing to do for your potential. This is the Page of Cups. So you're probably young at heart here. Like you're that Sagittarius energy that comes out with the adventurous, and that's usually young at heart, right? Um, spontaneous, not afraid to go and uh, take a leap of faith or try different things or try something at least once in your life. So you're not afraid to maybe eat certain foods or try different things. This You're happy. You're a happy type of person. You're kind. You have emotional insight. You're very creative. And you have maybe this innocence towards you. But I feel like if you are influenced by a certain particular person, someone you're trying to be patient with, You might end up missing out on an opportunity for your life purpose here. And this is going to suit you well for your demeanor, okay? So let's look at your south node. What was your past life like? What was your past life like? And just remember, um, nobody should influence you into changing your mind about something you want for yourself. Or you feel you are talent, have a talent in or that you're really wanting to do. Nobody should be talking, this is your life, not, th they've already lived their life if they're your parents, okay? If this is something you wanna do for you, then it's your choice, it's not up to anyone else, okay? Yeah, the wounded warrior. So, I kinda of feel like you keep going now, despite all setbacks, you still move forward despite what anyone else thinks or does towards you. You're that wounded warrior, but you keep moving. What's your mid heaven, your career here for Scorpio? Wow, there's a lot here. Wow, okay, you might be in the justice system. You might be a cooperative and a team player here and have a lot of burdens in your um, career here. So you might be a lawyer or a judge could be police, military, could be naval, um, could be of service, people of service for your country or the people. You bring, bring that balance here. I feel like working together or being burdened. So it's like that balance. You're either going to be in favor or be denied. You know, that kind of, it could go either way. <laughs> I kind of feel like court system, but it, it doesn't have to be. I mean, it could be, but it has to do with balance of something being 
balanced. Um, right or wrong? That's kind of why I'm feeling police or military, right or wrong. I don't know what this is. So, and I mean, it doesn't have to be. I mean, this could just be... Um, This is, what was this again? This was your your career. So, I mean, I feel like you decide one way or another. So, I mean, this could even be in customer service where you decide whether they get to return something or not. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're gonna listen to all the good and the bad and decide from there. Maybe they don't have the receipt and they just purchased it. So are you going to give them a gift card or are you going to return their money or what are you going to do, right? It could be about something as simple as that. I mean, it's it's all about you making some type of decision in favor or not in favor of the, whoever is coming to you. I feel like it's your choice. You have the choice. Maybe you're in management, could be a CEO of something. You have a choice, the good or the bad. I mean, it's that simple. Something along those lines. I've, I'm still feeling of service. So that seems to be ringing. That could be, uh, like I said, customer service, some type of service. <laughs> All right. Um, let's look at your Lilith. What's your hidden emotions here? What's your hidden emotions? Okay, you might be needing taking time to heal something here. Taking time to heal. And we have the king of wands. So, wow, you're a bit of a looker here. Swaga, swaga. <laughs> you're a visionary and you're quite respected though. You're ambitious and a leader. So people look up to you. Um, management comes into play here uh, with the people in the fields here and him sitting here watching or uh, delegating. I'm feeling delegating something here. Loyal. Healing something. You're healing. Oh, okay. This is emotions. This is hidden emotions. You might be healing something, maybe how people see you. They don't know you and they may judge you just by what you look like. And you might be trying to heal these emotions here or needing to take the time to heal some type of emotions here. I feel like, huh. Having to do with being judged on your looks. So you might have a lot of women throw themselves at you be, depending on how you look. And it might be because they're just looking out the outside. They're not actually seeing who you are on the inside. And that might bother you because they might just be looking at you like a piece of ass. And if you're a woman, it could be the same thing. Either that or there's jealousy around it where they put you in competition and you don't even know you're in competition with these people because these are hidden things so these things might be hidden from you or this is what you're hiding from people is this this might bother you that people just judge you on how you look and it's like you have emotions you have um feelings and maybe they don't take that into account because of the way you look. And that's wrong because that's not, it shouldn't matter how you look, it's who you are inside that matters. All right, what is your Imun J? These are roots, your ancestors, your family. What do they have to say? Now these are all people that have passed over as far as I, I'm reading it, so. Okay, so you may be having some sleepless nights here because there's some type of decision that they want you to make. Now you're going to know what this decision is, okay, and why you're staying up. It's going to be something that's been bothering you 
that you can't sleep about. Some sort of decision your ancestors want you to make. What's the North Node for you? What's your current life like right now? Wow, okay. Holy hell. That's the cards. Spirit wants to say a few things here. Okay, yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, spirits are funny here. <laughs> we'll clear this up. <laughs> All right, with your North Node current life, and the, you, you're going to understand what this decision is just by what I'm going to say right now. Okay, so we have the Prince or pa Page of Wands. Okay, they say Princess or Prince, right? And it's Page of Wands, which is your enthusiasm, your positivity, and your inspiration. People don't like that, okay? There's something you need to end here when it comes to a Queen of Pentacles. Now, this Queen of Pentacles could be you. Um, maybe you're very materially successful. Maybe you're very resourceful. Maybe you're very um, nurturing. This is high energy, okay? There's judgment here. So there might be some karma if you don't end something here with something. And this has to do with this decision you need to make. This happens to do with this Ten of Cups you're imagining for yourself here. With this happy home, happy life, planting new seeds and celebrating. So you're going to know what this new opportunity is. This fresh idea that you're having. Whatever inspiration that you're having here. This... This is act on chance. This is something you're going to act on. Putting something to an end. Maybe having to do with the Queen of Pentacles. And this is going to be a judgment call you have to make yourself. And this is in your current life, okay? This may have to do with spirit trying to bring something in for you. But you have to make a decision on something first. So you're going to know what this is referring to, okay? And if you have no idea and you're single and there is still a choice here that you have to make now. This could be a friend. This could be somebody that's not good for you here in some way, shape, or form here. Somebody that really makes you feel bad about yourself. Somebody that brings in hostility and doesn't, is always challenging you about everything. Maybe not compromising at all. Somebody that doesn't make you feel good to be around. This is somebody that you are gonna know what this is about, okay? You're gonna know. Maybe it's somebody at work. Maybe it's somebody to do with something else. Maybe you put up with this person or maybe you don't stand up to this person. Wh whatever it is, whoever it is, you're going to know what this is about. Okay? Now this, I'm feeling it has to do with love, but you're going to know. You're going to know. And love can be family members. Love for family, right? But let's look at what your transformation is, your Pluto. This is um, what, um, by listening to your ancestors, spirits, angels, spirit guides, spirit himself, okay? This is your transformation here. Wow. <laughs> the emperor, what? Wow, you could be the emperor. Wow, this is crazy. So you can accomplish a great deal as the emperor. There's that wands that I felt so much here. The wands is the emperor, that passion, the airy sign, fire sign, okay? This is about stability, power, wealth, being a leader. Wow. And I'm feeling here, um, this is about being secure about who you are, having that self-love, 
somebody that hasn't lost their identity. And I feel like that has a lot to do with not knowing who you are anymore based on who you have surrounding you. Sometimes it's good to have a look around who is around you and there's things you're gonna see that you're meant to see here. And you might have to stand up for yourself. You might feel left out in the cold, but this is gonna help you bring in something completely new, unexpected. The emperor, wow. That's crazy, that's beautiful. I love this for you, Scorpio. And I feel like you're gonna go after the things that you want for yourself, that you imagine for yourself. There is somebody there for you. Wow. You have a decision to make on what you need to do here. Hmm. I wish you all the luck there, Scorpio. This is a beautiful reading. I mean, you may not think so at first, but whatever happens here is meant to happen. And there's some lessons here that you're going to learn that is going to make you so much more appreciative of the decisions you make because you're going to be much happier in the long run. Okay, so... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave it there, Scorpio. Wow, the emperor, that's beautiful. So please like, share, and subscribe. Consider being part of our tribe, the oracles, the divine oracles at that. And yeah, stay blessed. Oh, and if you wanna to donate to the channel, I have a PayPal account in the description box that you can put in a donation for. It helps me buy cards. It helps me pay for some of the things that I'm trying to get here for you guys so yeah all right you guys take care love you all stay blessed all right later